Well, here we have nine squares, and each square has either an X or an O. We want to know how many X's are there out of the nine. And statement one tells us that more than half of the squares are O's, which means that fewer than half of the squares are X's. So at most, we could have four X's. So how many X's are there? Uh, it could be zero, one, two, three, or four. I don't know which of those, so statement one is not sufficient on its own. Eliminate A and D. Now statement two says that each of the corners has an X, and I know that there are four corners, uh, so that means there are at least four X's. So how many X's are there? Could be four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine. This one is not sufficient on its own either. Go ahead and eliminate B. Now if we combine these statements, what do we know? From statement one, we know there are at most four X's. From statement two, we know there are at least four X's. Well, if both of those statements are telling the truth, and they are, the statements are always telling the truth, then there must be exactly four X's. So when we combine the statements, we can answer the question, and therefore the answer is C. If you like this approach, be sure to check out my book, it's all in there. What do you want me to talk about in my next video? Type it down in the comments below and maybe I'll make a video just for you. Make sure you're subscribed and click that little bell icon below so you don't miss any future videos. See you next time.